BRICS, the New World Order Group comprising Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, is an alliance of five major emerging economies that formed in 2009 to promote economic cooperation and increase their collective influence on the global stage. The formation of BRICS was based on the recognition of the growing economic power of these countries and the need to create a new world order that better reflects their interests and aspirations. Over the years, the group has expanded its agenda to include issues such as geopolitics, global finance, security, and sustainable development. And now, according to multiple reports, the alliance is expected to grow with the arrival of numerous African countries in particular as the 15th edition of the BRICS Sum approaches. Welcome! This is Rain Smith, and you're watching the New Africa Channel. Anil Sokol, South Africa's ambassador to the BRICS, confirmed in an interview on April 24 that 13 countries had officially submitted applications to join the group of emerging economies, stating that the announced enlargement of the organization will be at the center of debates at the next BRICS summit, scheduled for June 2nd and 3rd, 2023 in Cape Town, South Africa. For the time being, just a few names of African countries interested in joining the BRICS have been released, including Algeria, Egypt, Nigeria, Sudan, and Zimbabwe. The oil-rich Arab nations have also expressed interest in joining the BRICS and forging partnerships with the Eight Nations Shanghai Cooperation Organization, which is made up of India, Russia, Pakistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan. This was stated by Sergei Lavrov, the foreign minister of Russia, to the state-affiliated TAS and news agency last year. This BRICS expansion intends to strengthen the Economic Alliance's international standing. BRICS accounted for 31.5% of the world's gross domestic product, GDP, in 2023 against 30.7% for the G7, so it is clear that BRICS are the current major emerging powers. For several years, the economic behemoth has demanded stronger participation in global governing bodies and the transition to a multipolar order. However, despite having a combined economy that accounts for almost 31.5% of global GDP and a population of 3.2 billion, the group only has 15% of voting rights at the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. That's why in 2014, the BRICS founded its own development bank to challenge the current global financial system established after World War II by the Bretton Woods Agreements. BRICS is also currently flirting with the idea of a new unified currency to squash the dollar's hegemony. Therefore, the potential addition of members among the new demands would undeniably reshape the global economic landscape and inherently change the dynamics of the group. For now, the only major concern about the concept of a BRICS Plus is the worries among member countries about the dilution of their power. China started the talk about expansion when it was BRICS chair last year, as the world's second-largest economy strives to gain diplomatic power to counter the United Nations' domination of rich countries. The Asian superpower China already has a GDP twice that of the other four BRICS countries combined, so other members and potential new allies are naturally concerned that their influence will be watered down further if Beijing's close allies are admitted. So what do you think of today's video? Are you in favor of a BRICS expansion to include more countries and entrench a new world order free from Western dominance? And do you think it is an African country's best interest to join the BRICS Plus group? Let us know what you think in the comments below and as always, do subscribe to the New Africa channel for more exciting future videos.